right before we carry on with the rest of the videos let's just quickly have a look at how we can get input from the console so let's say i am saying string name equals and i want to get the input now from whatever somebody types in the console in the terminal here so there is a library called st std standard input std in and there's a standard output so i'm just going to have a quick look at those two so we're going to use std din std in and you can see it adds the import there at the top import so you can see it's outside of my main method it's adding the import dart.io so very important that that import is there at the top if it's not there you can also just type it there at the top and then now to use std in you can see there's a read line sync so this method if you click on it or hover over it you'll see it is basically reading a line from the standard input right so we will use this also later on a bit for, for now we're reading input from the terminal so you can also see that this method is returning back a string which means that on the other side on this side we need to have a string that actually takes that value and save it so std lin dot read or std in dot read line sync will get a data value or get a value from the terminal for me so we could have a print statement like example print um, please enter your name and then the name will be read in and then we can print out your name is with a dollar sign and just show name there so i'm going to save this quickly and i'm going to run it okay let's just say dot main dot dot right so you can see on the console here on the terminal it prints out enter your name and i, I can enter my name and it prints out your name okay so that is how you read input from the terminal now instead of using print we can also use std out and then for std out there's a right and there's a right line so right will keep your cursor on the same line and right line will print out like the normal print statement it will do exactly the same as print which will basically just print out and then move your cursor to the next line so in this case let's use a right line and you can see it's going to give us the exact same output if you run this application please enter your name and your name is whatever okay so there's two ways or two new classes that we can work with or methods we're working with std out dot write or write line and std in dot read line sync so this one reads the data now what happens if i actually want to have your age here so let's say i'm going to say int age equals something and i want to get the age from the terminal so i'm going to cut that out and i want to say please enter your age now age is not a string and we know that that this one read line sync returns back a string so we will need to convert that first to an integer so you will remember that int and double has got this method called pass and this method if you look at the method just hover over it it takes in the source that it needs to pass as a string so it's basically converting a string that you pass in to an integer so the string i want to pass in here will be exactly that std in standard input dot read line sync this is a string gets converted to an integer and it gets saved back and now we can just print out the age there so let's see if this works into your age let's say 18 uh, oh your name your age is 18 enter your age 20 your age is 20 so this is how we can use the read line sync also to convert to the specific type we want and also std out to also print to the screen like your normal print statement hope you've learned something from this video see you on the next one